Um, I have a spirit with me. It's the spirit of my Uncle John. Yep. And he came when you started to talk about schizophrenia. Yep. Now, I feel him to tell the story that he he listened to a voice that said that they were God, mm -hmm. and he went and he went in with an axe and he killed his wife and his young child, Robert. Yep. And he's in a uh, fairly dark place. Very, very sad. Yep. But feeling that he wants to understand, and the question is. Um, I listened to the voice that yep. told me yep. that this was the right thing to do. Um, yet I know now that oh, I've murdered my wife and, and child. my child. And now I've murdered myself because I committed suicide. Yep. And he says, how, how much, how much how, how can I take responsibility when I listened to a lie, yeah. to something false? Does everyone hear what Jen was just saying? I'll just explain it a bit more loudly. Jen's uh, Uncle John murdered his wife and his child and then committed suicide. And um, he, he did this because he had a voice claiming, the voice was claiming that the voice was God. And, and God was telling him that he had to do this for God. Right? So was the voice God for a start? No. 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 But him in, his current, in that state felt the voice was God. He believed. He believed that. Mm -hmm. right? So what's actually, what was actually happening here was here was Jen's uncle on earth before he passed. Here was this spirit. This spirit was in a very, very dark place. The spirit was telling him, because he could, that he needed to kill his wife and children. And this spirit claimed to be God. Now, why would I believe that? What emotion within me would cause me to believe that? Someone was actually taking notice of him. Someone was giving them their time. His, their time. He was obviously looking for something that was his. You know, like... If it was God, or somebody loves me, somebody wants to... So somebody, somebody cares? Spend time with me. Yeah. So somebody cares, emotion, sort of thing, this person lonely, cares? Lonely, he says. He was oh, lonely. lonely. Yeah. He really was lonely. lonely. Yeah. So, Jen, you can talk a bit more. He can speak, tell what his emotions were when he was listening to this spirit. What else was he feeling? He's felt some emotions towards his wife and his child. What were they? Um, they were Australian, and he was Dutch, and... He, the, the lang he couldn't communicate lang so, so he language. So he couldn't understand. And um, um, he's speaking to me in Dutch. No, he's, he's speaking speak. in Dutch, so he's just got to... <laughs> I can speak Dutch. He's, he's, he's saying that they couldn't hear him. That he, like his voice was muffled. So his, not listened to. Yeah, which is the same as in me. And what, then, what did he? What did he? What did that cause him to feel? He felt some emotion. Small. Small. So he felt small. small. And when he felt small, he didn't like feeling small, did he? No. So what would he then do? Get. He went for religion. He went for. Uh, he's saying he went. He went for church. He sought. He sought for. Sought for something bigger outside of himself. So he went for, himself up. So he felt really went, went felt really needy for God. Yeah. You could say. But then a spirit connected to him, claiming he was God. Can you see how this spirit just used the situation? The he says the voice was really comforting and gave him peace and gave him... But he's also saying that's wrong. He, he's screaming at me. He's saying yeah, it it's wrong, to, it's wrong. Need, I, yeah, yeah, it doesn't it's need to right. scream. Scree. Yeah. It's, it's wrong. He's in so much pain. He's in so God. much pain, yeah. He... he the thing that he will need to do, and this, I'll just talk with him directly, is that he needs to feel these emotions. These were the emotions that he avoided. And in avoiding that, he got into this state where he believed this person and went ahead and did it. So all he needs to do from an emotional perspective and from God's perspective is to begin addressing 
the fact that he needs to feel like he was small. He needs to feel the emotions of not being listened to when he was a child himself. He needs to feel the emotions of loneliness that he was avoiding. But he's now angry, angry at himself. Angry but while he remains in anger, he will not feel those emotions and nothing will get better. So angry. <coughs> he is angry, yeah. But what I'm saying to him is while you remain in those emotions of anger, you will not let yourself connect to these emotions and these are the emotions you need to experience before you'll get better and before you'll feel sorry truly for what you've done. <laughs> and Jen was just asking, uh, her, because her uncle has been talking to Jen now, Jen's feeling all of her uncle's anger and, and everything. And I'm just trying to remind her uncle that he needs to feel these emotions and not the anger. The anger is his denial. You follow me? He needs to get into these emotions and some of those emotions, they're the emotions that caused him to do these actions. These are the emotions he needs to let himself feel. Right? And he needs to stop projecting at Jen all of his anger, which is making Jen very uncomfortable. Um, it's your choice. Anger is your choice to feel powerful rather than feeling powerless. Powerless. Yeah. So in other words, I'm wanting to feel powerful because I don't want to feel powerless. Because powerless feels bad, does it not? Like, how many of you want to cry? Really want to cry. Yeah. Really want to cry with all your heart. You know, people put their hands in it. <laughs> right. When you get into the state where you just want to feel whatever it is, that's when you won't revert to anger. Anger is the choice to get away from the real emotion.